Hey everyone, Cynthia Luhu here. I'm going to show you how I made my fan. And I have, uh, this is going to be a smaller fan. This is going to be a smaller fan. I have a piece of um, DCWV luxury stack, so it's a really pretty shimmery piece of chocolate um, paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of paper and I'm going to cut it in half. It's a 12 by 12, so they'll, each piece will be 6 by 12. Scorepel. And I'm just going to score every half inch all the way across. I grabbed and I'm going to punch all along the top on both pages. and I'm going to fold all my score lines. I'm Okay, so now I have folded and burnished all of my um, tr uh, pleats, and because of how I punched this, it should overlap almost perfectly, um, and it looks like it's just a little bit off, which is fine, um, but that's okay. So that's how this is going to, they're going to attach so your fan is longer. Oh look, it does overlap right. TG, hot glue, tacky tape, whatever. Okay, there we go. Now they're all attached, and it's going to go like this. I purchased these wood sticks um, rather than the um, tongue depressor big ones because I didn't want to have to cut, and these were um, a little bit smaller, so I thought it would work out a lot better. And I just found these at Joann's in the wood section where they have like the um, wood letters, wood beads, stuff like that. So I'm going to grab a few, and what you're going to do is, I'm going to use hot glue. You can use whatever glue you choose. Now when you glue this, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. When you glue this, you don't want the piece of wood too close to the fold because then it won't, it won't fold right. It'll, that'll be too close to the edge and so you want it kind of in the center and then you want to make sure that they're even all along and because I don't want this to be a very big fan I'm probably only going to have like um, two inches so I'll glue all along there and keep it along this mat okay so I'll do the first one here and then I'll speed up the rest 
Then I'm going to put them on every other. So actually I need it wound up. Are you going to golf? No. Got a little too much glue there, but I'm getting used to this new glue gun. It's a big one. My other glue gun died. And then the next one's going to go here. Yeah. And I'm just going to keep this, adding them. Wear this shirt. Okay, so I'm down to the last couple ones. And I'm going to glue one here. And then I'm going to skip this one and put one here so that it holds it. It's more sturdy on the end. And I have this lined up on the grid here. You can't. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit. I have it lined up on the grid so that my popsicle sticks will stay even and I want them to overhang two inches. So I'm just adding glue to the stick and then making sure that it lines up at the two inches and that it's in the center of the fold. So I'm just going to start gluing these all together. Okay, so now I've glued all those sticks together with my hot glue gun, and I'm not used to this glue gun. I don't like it at all. I've got to order the, the finer tip one because it just doesn't work for me. Um, it may work for others, I just don't like it. So I may keep it as a backup, but even as a backup, I don't think I'll use it. Um, so I have this beautiful trim, or lace trim from Carla 001's Etsy store, and I cover up my yucky glue mess, and then I'm going to add some of this beautiful um, pleated trim as well, because I think that that's gorgeous, so I'm just going to add some hot glue. So this glue gun, it either comes out a big blob or it doesn't come out. So that's why I really don't like it. And I'm going to treat this fan just like I would a layout. And I'm going to use this punch around the page. I don't know what it's called. I want a couple of those. Use my Moonshadow Mist to color it up.
before this gets too bulky, I want to get the stand on it. So I want the bottom of the stand about oh two and a half inches wide. So I'm going to cut a piece of chipboard at two inches. I'm going to fold it so I can see where the line is. Okay, and then I want the top to be, oh, probably, um, one and a half inches wide. So I'm going to cut a half inch off the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line my chipboard. Let's see where you can see. I'm going to line my chipboard, the bottom of it on the cut line, and I'm going to bring my chipboard over to where it hits the half of an inch. So I'm going to cut it a half inch off each side at a diagonal. A little so it'll bend out a little bit. So I'm just going to line this up with a half inch line. Score this side. Turn it around and do the same thing. Okay, so I have finished embellishing my fan. I added some rhinestones around the photos just to make them stand out a little more because the all the embellishments were starting to tr take over the fan layout. Thank you for watching. I